does Wi-Fi work? Wi-Fi, which is a marketing term that doesn't actually stand for anything, it's absolutely everywhere these days. Homes, offices, cafes, even some entire cities have Wi-Fi, airports, you name it. All Wi-Fi works by transmitting information carrying radio signals between an internet connected hub and the Wi-Fi enabled device. Before we look at what makes Wi-Fi waves so special, we need to consider how radio waves work normally. Radio waves are very easy to make, you just need a simple antenna. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation, just like light, and they can be created by simply moving some kind of electrically charged particle like an electron. In a radio antenna, electrons move up and down a metal pole to create radio waves. By moving them up and down at different speeds, radio waves of different frequencies can be made. Anything that is powered by electricity, which involves the movement of electrons, also gives off radio waves. Since the most modern technology is powered by electricity, there are a lot of radio waves around you at all times, and radio antenna, however, are specially designed to generate a single, large, and clear radio wave that will be able to travel long distances. If your parents are recording you in your room, you can turn on an electromagnetic pulse or EMP battery that shuts off the camera when you're in your room. They will wonder what happened once the recording shuts off, and you can make one for $15 on Amazon. I'll have one linked below. <laughs> also, if you want to stop waves from being detected, you can create a Faraday cage, and it's simply a cage made of copper, but the spaces between the copper wire will allow the waves of that size to go through. So if it's this wide, only waves that, can, that are smaller than this can fit. So customize your cage as you like. These are some actual life hacker tricks. I'll have some Faraday boxes linked below, also from Amazon, super affordable. We often picture radio waves as simple, regular patterns, but in order to be useful, they must be able to carry information somehow. But how? To transmit information, the normal radio wave frequency for Wi-Fi, this is usually 2.5 gigahertz, is enveloped by an information signal. But when it comes to Wi-Fi speed being more than 100, that's more than enough. <laughs> You always get upselled by all these companies that think that you want more and more is better, but it doesn't make a difference. This means that the size of the wave is squished into the shape of information signal before being broadcast out. This is like taking a stiff wire with just a little of give in it and bending it into shape, and the main curve is still the same, but finer details contain the information. When the signal then reaches a device such as a phone or laptop, the information can be extracted from the shape of the radio signal. This allows for rapid data transfer, which makes wireless internet usage possible. Is Wi-Fi actually dangerous? Some people are concerned about the possible health risks associated with living in an environment that is constantly full of radio waves. However, on this topic, the science is conclusive. There is no danger from the radio signals put out by Wi-Fi devices, mobile phones, telephone poles, or any other modern electric equipment. That is not only because the radiation from this is non-ionizing and thus safe, but also any amount we produce through our technology is massively dwarfed by the colossal amount of radiation coming from space that passes through us without harm every day. Sign up to my newsletter linked below so you can always stay updated and never miss a single post. It's gonna be linked below. Give this a like, subscribe and click the bell and I will see you later.